Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Diablo 3. I've said it before and I'll say it again. We're going to use those three greater keystones that we have in our inventory and we're actually finally going to use them. Right, uh, we need to do some leveling, we need to do some gem leveling. Uh, so we'll run at 67, uh, we're pretty comfortable doing that. And uh, we'll see how things go. We got very distracted last last episode. We went to kill the butcher, and we didn't end up like actually going to kill the butcher, which is fun. I mean, it was nice for a day out, but not exactly what we'd originally planned. Right, let's get another big group together. Shielding isn't going to be fun in these guys. Yeah, the Wrath of Utah is going to get right up in your face, mate. Let's not stand in that because they're all going off one after another. Ah. Quit with your shielding and everything else that you're doing. Killed the one that we care about. Got a little bit more time. Moving on. Now, periodically, I'm holding shift in order to um, force attack in place to make sure that my person doesn't go randomly wandering off fighting mobs that have decided to move around. Does mean that sometimes you end up missing, but also it's much, much safer at this difficulty level than ending up part way across the map. It's also quite interesting. I mean, I I don't mind the uh, the speed of my attack, but uh, someone put a comment uh, on one of the videos saying, "How can you use a two-handed weapon?" Because I can't stand to be slow when I'm using my monk. And I hadn't actually noticed just how slow the attack was until that got pointed out. And now it's all I can seem to notice. It's like, oh my word, it is really slow. It's like, do 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 do. Now, obviously, when we uh, have the flying dragon activate, it's much much faster. But until then, it feels like a struggle. Big activate on the group there. Allies doing an excellent job of keeping everything murdered. Let's actually come down into this just before we activate them next time. Because we do get the damage bonus from that. So it's worth us taking a tiny detour. Vortex Waller, Desecrator, Illusionist. Let's uh, pop our invincibility just for a moment so we can regen. Very explosive guys they were. But we got good progress. So let's bring them down to... The oh, do you see that conduit? I see a conduit. Okay, got to keep moving, got to keep using this. And got to keep attacking as well. Can't just let it do all the work for us. It's an augmentation. It is not a weapon in itself. That was pretty well used, actually. Got a decent chunk of time advantage from it. Very happy. And we're just going to move straight on onto floor two.
first pack is just a little bit down to the bottom right. I was going to say down to the southeast, but there's no guarantee that that's actually east with the way that uh, the maps twist and turn. So, using the alternative cardinal directions, up, down, left and right. Popping Serenity for a moment, standing out of that. God damn, that nightmarish is so annoying, especially when it makes me run into dangerous, dangerous things. Activate the allies. Makes such a difference to the number of mobs nearby. That's a lot of potential damage coming in there. And Garrigan level 555. I'm expecting we're going to get quite a few levels this episode. Just you guys, all right, and uh, nothing of interest that way. So up we go and onwards. Ah, uh, Denath the Destroyer. That's a really cute name for probably a wasp, a wasp-related item anyway. Hot Serenity, so we don't have to worry about the Frozens. Still need to worry about it actually getting killed, though. The other thing that holding uh, shift while attacking stops is it stops the chicken stepping that can happen occasionally. Because that can get frustrating where your dude thinks that he can try and move and can't actually move. You end up not attacking, not really doing anything worthwhile, and it's, it's just frustrating. Ooh, yeah. Let's, let's get everyone in on this fight. These guys look nasty, actually. We will be very careful with these. Firstly, they're quite big and, and hefty in themselves. Secondly, fire chains, which, as you know, I love. Disclaimer, do not love. Thirdly, the screen's very busy. Now that time I popped my Serenity just to make sure. But we're not just going to stand around and take it. No, we're not going to take it. Let's, let's kill the things around the edge first. That seems like a very sensible plan. Yeah, this rift has gone very sideways since the introduction of those giant guys. The other thing about them is you can't really see what's going on in the middle of it all. So you can sort of assume that everything is okay and you've probably got time to get out of the way if it's not okay.
Right, I think that is a significant improvement. Oh my god, and they're shielding as well. Yeah, these guys are definitely going to be a pain in the arse. Can we focus on them one at a time? Maybe. It looks like this one's actually going down. That's okay. If we can do that, that's not going to be bad. Popping Serenity just before getting smacked around. They got shielding. Why can't I have it? Finally, that did take longer than it needed to. I probably should have just ignored them and moved straight on. I don't know if that was an efficient use of time. But it was nice to do. Well, there's obviously something large-ish in this area. There you are. This guy's not going to last massively long. Flying Dragon's kicked in. Look at that attack speed increase. Just need to keep the actual focus on him rather than the other mobs. It's going to be another close one on the time, I reckon. Teleporter, warmer, wormhole, electrified. So he's all about the mobility. It's not going to help him now, though. Look at him go. Who else have we got that can help us move for this last 4%? Now last 3%. And really I just want to make sure we don't have to move on to the next area. Channeling Pylon, brilliant. Can we utilize this while on the Rift Guardian. I reckon we'll still have some. Definitely useful. That made quite a difference to it all. Especially when that convention of elements came round. 1 minute 17 seconds. I do think we would have had enough time. Ooh, fist weapon. Never know, maybe that will be the liar's claw. Yes, I know who you are, Roshi. No, it's not. Of course it's not. It's never going to be the one you want. Mm. Ah, delicious, delicious carbonated beverage. Let's get this all ID'd. Uh, hand in with Oric, of course. And put our levels in. Four more levels, so that's critical hit chance, extra life, resource cost reduction, and vitality. In fact, yeah, no, that, that's fine. 
So, Holy Beacon. Salvage that up. Uh, salvage up the fist. Don't know if that's actually useful. We'll salvage it up. I can't imagine a way that it would be. <laughs> Just not good enough, mate. Just not good enough. Not compared to my ancient ones. Everything goes. Now, we do have 62 Forgotten Souls, so we'll take the opportunity to try re-rolling this. There's always a chance that it's going to become ancient. It's 1 in 10 chance. So, reforged legendary. We don't have enough Westmarch Holy Water, so that's another reason why we need to do bounties. Okay, uh, we'll leave that alone for the moment, but we'll remember that we have to do it. Uh, with 529 shards, uh, I'm going to wait until we've done the next rift before asking Kadala for things. Now that we've got ancient boots, actually, probably ancient trousers are going to be the next thing. But that'll be after we've had a bit of a fight in here. Had a bit of a Barney. Bit of a Barney with the fallen overseers and the corrupted angels. We probably could have put the difficulty up, actually, but... Because we are still sort of struggling. I, I say sort of struggling. I mean, there's never an exact science to these things. The last one wasn't massively comfortable. I mean, it was comfortable in the sense that we weren't going to die. But it wasn't comfortable in the amount of time that we had left over. Right, let's move on and find the next group of interesting things. And a group of interesting things can just be trash mobs that happen to be in the right place at the right time. Although I will say these are not generating much in the way of progress. Okay, that's not too bad, actually. Definitely watching how they're doing on their health. Okay, we need this channeling pylon so that we can speed this up. Better. Yeah, right in the middle of the mall. Hoping the invincibility comes around in time. That's how we're playing. Oh, jeez, yeah. It's okay, though. It keeps coming around just at the right time. Do need to get some of these guys killed, though, so that they don't keep spawning more... Are you the last one now? Your friends caused me all kinds of trouble. Right, let's 
let's hop on round and carry on with this rift. We've not gained a huge amount of time since the start, so we do need to keep the focus moving forwards. Poison Enchanted Orbiter, Thunderstorm reflects damage, that's not too bad. The Thunderstorm's going to be a little bit annoying. But the rest of it's all much of a muchness. You are fighting something in the rift and it is hurting you. Really? Really? Didn't expect that would happen in a rift. Get the last of his health down. There we go. Grab all of that. Now the question is, up or down? I'm leaning a bit towards up. But mostly because it looks like there's more mobs coming from that direction. Nope. Wrong way. That's alright. No harm done. Hey, cool. More blues. These ones obviously have mortars, but what else have they got? Quite a lot of friends. Right, can we get some of these killed? Health link more to Jailer fast, okay. Well, it's good in a way. It means that when they go, they're all going to go at the same time, like that. Also, Mortar and Jailer aren't exactly the uh, the most dangerous of affixes. Occasionally frustrating, especially when combined with others, but when combined with each other? No. It's just like, yeah, you've got something for range and you've got something for up close. But they don't really work well together. Okay, we've managed to pull this back a lot on the time. I'm quite, quite happy with that. guys killed off and moving into the next area. Yay! I like the forest. Yay! I like conduits. Like, hello everyone. Come stand next to me. Do stand so close to me. Shield parliament as well, so I don't actually need to worry about anything they may do. Still got plenty of shield piling left, even though the conduit itself is gone. We don't need to worry about moving away when things blow up and will come at us.
Okay, that wasn't exactly being efficient with our time, so moving on to the next groups will help our cause a lot better. This is not the direction we need to be going. That means up this way. Yeah, he was going to charge at us. Stopped him by pulling him close to us instead. Kind of achieved the same geographical effect, but without him in control. And... I see you up here. Just get him killed without all those bloody arcane beams going off everywhere. There we go. And that is perfect timing for us, actually. Right in your face. Constant smacking. Saxtrus is actually really good for us because Saxtrus reminds us that we do need to watch our health and the order that we're popping our buffs in. Okay, nearly done. And we do still have our invincibility if we need it. There we go. 3 minutes 15 seconds. Lots of time. That went really well. Okay, let's grab those. Doesn't look like anything massively interesting in there. So the points go into Bane of the Powerful, just exactly like last time. And we'll head back to town. My path becomes clearer. While we're IDing them, we'll put our various levels in. Only three levels this time. Definitely feels like it's time to start upping the ante. Uh, right, so salvage unity, salvage bull Kathos. Let's salvage that. Scales of the Dancing Serpent. Ancient. Well. I'm assuming they're pretty damn good. Let's put them... Dexterity Armor, Dexterity Armor, Dexterity Resist Tool. Let's put them instead of that one. I think that's a reasonable swap. Ah, right, yeah, I will get murdered if I don't hold on to this one. Firstly, because it's got seven stacks of Sweeping Wind, but also because it's ancient. So, potentially, the Sun Wukos build could also work. But anyway, right, the rest of this can all get salvaged up, and we'll also ask Kadala for trousers. Hexing Pants of Mr. Yan, Hexing Pants of Mr. No. Gone, gone, gone. Try that again, Kadala. So, trousers. Jeez, more Hexing Pants of Mr. Yan. Ancient ones. Oh, yeah. 
yet. No. Gone and gone. Okay, well, uh, I think that's probably going to have to be it for this episode. Uh, we are just about out of time there. But thank you very much for watching. I do hope you are continuing to enjoy this. I know I'm still having a lot of fun with it. Uh, we are slowing down a little bit on our leveling, but all that means is we need to up the level of the Greater Rift that we're attacking each time, and we will keep making progress. Um, there's a lot more that we still need to do, and of course there's a lot more power that we need. Uh, just as a quick recap, we've only got Bane of the Powerful up to rank 42. I want to get that up at least to 60 before we socket it into something. And even then, I'm not sure what precisely we're going to put it in. Probably the boots, actually. The boots would be a good call. But anyway, that's going to be a discussion for another time. If you are liking these videos, be sure to give a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, you should do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise... I'll see you next time for another episode of Diablo 3. See you soon.